Hello everybody, Chris Profi, Musically Obsessed. Tonight I'm going to enter a contest for Beth over at Red Rum Records. But before we get into that, if you are new to my channel, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button so you can continue to follow my musical obsession. All right, so Beth is hosting a 1969 contest surrounded around obviously the year 1969 but also Woodstock. She's giving away a Woodstock vinyl box set which looks amazing. Um, I had to enter this contest for a couple different reasons. One, the main reason is to support Beth. Beth is an amazing member of the VC and you guys all know who Beth is. Um, just, just a sweetheart. Always puts a smile on my face. Uh, she's a, such a positive person, a positive uh, beacon in the VC. I always enjoy watching her videos. And there's just something about her voice that puts me in a good mood. So thank you, Beth. Um, you know, you're a great member of the VC. Um, I enjoy your videos very much. Um, so the other reason I had to enter this contest is because I live 40 minutes from the original location of Woodstock. I live in Poughkeepsie, and uh, Woodstock is just right across the Hudson River, so it's near and dear to my heart. So here we go. Four questions centered around 1969 and Woodstock. So question one, my favorite artist who performed at Woodstock. I'm going with Joan Baez, so I'll show you a few of my Joan Baez albums. This is Joan Baez 5, and this has Stew Ball on it, It Ain't Me Babe. And, ooh, she does uh, I Still Miss Someone by Johnny Cash. I have simply the self-titled album, Joan Baez. And on here, she does Silver Dagger, Fare Thee Well, House of the Rising Sun, Rake and Rambling Boy, um, Donna Donna. Wildwood Flower, just a beautiful, beautiful voice. Amazing guitar player. This is one of her later albums, a favorite of mine, Gulf Winds. And if you guys have never heard this album, I would definitely check out the title track, Gulf Winds. But I'd also check out Sweeter For Me. That song is a killer. It's, it's killer, killer, killer. Joan Baez, look at how beautiful she is there. Um, so yeah, she's just an amazing artist. Amazing singer, amazing songwriter, amazing guitar player. I have a compilation, uh, Joan Baez uh, love song album. Love that cover. Uh, this has um, Love Minus Zero, No Limit, Sweet Sir Galahad, House Carpenter, Once I Had a Sweetheart, The Death of Queen Jane, Sad-Eyed Lady of the Lowlands. Just a bunch of great, great stuff. You know, Joan Baez... Talk about a singer that I can believe. I mean, she has so much emotion in her voice. Um, not only happiness, but sadness as well, and longing in her voice. And just, I mean, she's just the ultimate folk performer. So uh, really, really, really like Joan Baez a lot, okay? Question two, favorite album of 1969? Well, I'm going to show you two albums from 1969. The first one being probably my favorite Iron Butterfly album, Ball. This is on the Atco label, Atco label. I've talked about this album before. A lot of people point to Inagata De Vita for good reason. I happen to like Ball a little bit better. This came out in 1969 on the Atco label. And I've said this before, but seriously, listen to the first song, In the Time of Our Lives. Heavy, 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 heavy. And the other album I'm going to show you that came out in 1969 is The Monkees' Instant Replay. This is an album that a lot of Monkees fans don't even know about, but it's one of my favorites along with Present. Um, you've got some Michael Nesmith bombers on here. Um, I Won't Be the Same Without Her. Don't Wait For Me. And probably the number one banger on this album, While I Cry. Listen to that song. Michael Nesmith should have been bigger than he was. Again, I know his mother invented liquid paper. All of that aside, he should have been bigger. Listen to the song While I Cry if you don't believe me. And lastly, this could have gotten dangerous, Beth. I'm just going to say, you wanted to sh us to show something with 69 in it. 
Get your mind out of the gutter, guys. It's not what she meant. Well, I had a tough time with this because I looked up, uh, Sonic Youth has an, uh, a song called Death Valley 69. I have the CD back in storage though, so I couldn't show that. I wasn't gonna show Summer of 69. I figured everybody would show that. Uh, REM has Star 69, but I don't have that CD with me. So I went back to my old Train Ballads 45. I have shown this a lot. This is one of the first uh, 45s I had as a kid. And this came out in 1969. There you go, Beth. So I'm gonna leave the link to Beth's channel, Red Rum Records. If you have not checked it out, I'm sure everybody who's subscribed to me has subscribed to Beth. But if, for whatever strange reason, if you're not, head on over to Beth's channel. She's awesome. She's gonna put you in a good mood. All right, guys, bye.